If I don't have you, what does it even mean? If I don't know you, why am I even here? If I don't know you, what does it even mean? To strive, continue for nothing. Oh, if I don't owe you, what does it even mean? If I don't have you, what does it even mean? If I don't know you, what does it even mean? I must have you. I must have you. Lord, I must have you. I must have you, Lord. Oh, I must have you. Show us today, Lord. I must have you. Oh, I must have you. I must have you. Oh. 
familiar stranger to me Oh Lord, I want the fullness of knowing you in intimacy Lord, I don't want you to be a familiar stranger to me Oh Lord, I want the fullness of knowing you in intimacy Oh Lord, I, I want to be tender, I want to be sensitive to all that you are, Jesus, and all that you do. Lord, I, I want to be tender, I want to be sensitive to all that you are, Jesus. All that you do, Lord, I Oh, I want to be tender I want to be sensitive to All that you are, Jesus And all that you do, Lord, I I want to be tender Help us, Lord I want to be sensitive to All that you are, Jesus all that you do oh lord let your glory have a higher place in my heart let your beauty have a higher place in my heart lord let your majesty have a higher place in my heart jesus help us lord Jesus Ooh. Lord I I want to be tender I want to be sensitive to all that you are, Jesus, and all that you do, Lord, I want to be tender. I want to be sensitive to all that you are, Jesus, and all that you do. So, Lord, let your glory have a higher place in my let your beauty have a high place in my heart. Let your majesty have a high place in my heart, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Lord, let your glory have a high place in my heart. Let your beauty. Let your beauty have a higher place in my heart, oh Lord. Let your majesty have a higher place in my heart, Jesus. Oh Jesus, we love your name, Jesus. We want to know your nature, Jesus. Show us again today who you really are. Show us again today what you're really like. We have to know, we have to know. Lord, I don't want you to be a familiar stranger to me. Lord, I want the fullness of knowing you in intimacy. I don't want you to be a familiar stranger to me. 
for the Lord searches the earth for friends. We say here we are again, standing in your house. For the Lord searches the earth for friends. We say here we are again. Standing in your house For the Lord Searches the earth For friends And we say Here we are again The Lord Searches the earth For friends And we say Here we are again understands our grief and our pain. Let us approach boldly the throne in this room, in this house, that we might find grace and help in a time of trouble. Here we are again, asking for help today asking for grace today. Lord, help us with strength and humility. Lord, would you help us, God? The God who hears. Lord, would you help us, God? The God who listens. Would you help us, God? God who hears, oh, would you help us, God? Oh, would you help us, God? Oh, your ears ever bent down close? You're ever eager to give all I need. I am the apple of your eye. You love me. Lord, you know me. You have searched me out. Oh. Lord, you have known me. 
you've known me, you have searched me out. Lord, you have known me, you have searched me I trust you, you have never felt my heart, Lord I have trusted you this far, Jesus come take all my heart, my I trust you, Jesus, you are just and true, in everything you say and do, Jesus, you know I love you. voices today. Hear our voices today. Oh God, come. Lord, would you come?
like you Lord. there is no one like you Lord there is none like you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah I know
He's the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Only He is in control. There is one seated on the throne, even now. Seated on the throne, He's the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Only He is in control. There is none. None like you Who can know my heart Like you do Caring for us All creation They sing your song And I will join with them Declaring your glory Let's sing this one more time. We can run straight into your arms. We can run straight into your arms. Unafraid, no fear. Because every time we need you, Lord, we're met by love. We can lift our hands to heaven, full of faith. Because every time we worship, get a glimpse, we see your face. Let's just, all of everyone, just invite you to lift your voice to the Lord. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. Verse six. On your walls, O Jerusalem, 
I have set watchmen all the day and all the night. They shall never be silent. You who put the Lord in remembrance, take no rest and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it a praise in the earth. Father, we look to you this afternoon. You are our help. You are Israel's help in time of need. Father, we're asking for the church in Jerusalem and Israel in the surrounding nations, in the Middle East, in Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon. Would you strengthen your church in this hour? Would you strengthen the ones on the walls that are set already with their hearts on your people, the Jewish people, on Israel, on Jerusalem. Would you strengthen these ones in this hour? Would you give them great revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of you? Revelation of your story, your plan for your people, your plan for Israel. Would you prepare them, Father, for those coming days, even in this hour, in the midst of trial, Father, would you strengthen these ones in Jerusalem, in Israel, in Gaza? Would you give them dreams in the night, visions by day? Would you visit them? Let them know your nearness, the church in the Gaza area. Let them know your nearness, Father, even this evening there. Let them know your closeness. Let them know that you hear them, you know them, you are with them, walking with them, helping them. Father, we're asking, be their help in this time of need. We're asking for power of the gospel through their mouths, salvation to many Palestinians in the land, open eyes to many Jews in the land. Father, we're asking that you would strengthen your church today, in this hour, in this time of need, in Israel. Jerusalem. Strengthen these ones on the wall already. Strengthen these ones. Mark them afresh in Jesus' name. Strengthen your church in Israel.
comfort. The setting of watchmen on the walls for Israel, for Jerusalem. Lord, mark hearts in the land, in Israel, in your church, surrounding Jordan, Lebanon. Mark hearts. Give them revelation. Let them see your story, your grand plan. Father, to save Israel, prepare their hearts, mark them. Father, I'm asking for the ones that we prayed with in May, these 12,000 hubs, would you strengthen them? Would you give them greater wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you regarding Israel, regarding your return? I'm asking for fresh marking, more to be raised up and set on these walls of intercession for your people. So in Jesus' name, Father, in Jordan, in Egypt, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Gaza, in the Palestinian church, in Israel, in, the, in Jerusalem, set watchmen Set many watchmen on the walls for your people in Jesus' name. Mark their hearts and set your watchmen on the wall. Set your watchmen on the wall. Even in dreams, mark hearts. Here we are, we're asking, we're asking on behalf of the watchmen.
you, you shall be called Hephzibah, the Lord delights in you, and I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Father of glory, we thank you for your ministry. Holy Spirit, we thank you for what you're doing in and through the earth and in and through Israel, in and through the Jewish people. We acknowledge your hand and your move, God. We ask, Lord, that the glory of the Lord would be seen upon Jerusalem. Lord, upon your people in this hour. Lord, we ask, Father, that you would come and you would rend the heavens and you'd come down. We ask, Lord, that you'd remove every obstacle that stands in the way of you and your beloved ones. Lord, those who do not know you, God, we ask, Lord, that there would be mass salvations, Jew and Gentile alike. We ask, Lord, that the Gentiles would be raised up to provoke Israel to jealousy, that they would stand and behold you in all your glory, and they would stand beholding you in all your beauty, and they would know this love, and they would release the truth and faith and power. God, they'd speak the word of the Lord with a, like a sword, like a fire and a hammer shut up in their bones. We ask, Lord, that you'd release the prophetic spirit in increased measure. Lord, that the glory of the Lord would thunder throughout the nations, that the glory of the Lord would be lifted high. Jesus would be lifted high. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that as you said to ascribe you all glory, that you would give beauty for ashes. Lord, that there's an hour coming where we'll no longer see mourning, but we'll see dancing in its place. We'll no longer see those clothes and sackcloth and mourning and, and, and fasting and prayer, but they will, they will with gladness rejoice in who you are. And they will proclaim it in spirit and truth, and new songs will come forth. Rejoicing is on the brink, God. We ask that you would bubble up within your people, that the very spirit of the living God would release the pleasures evermore at the right hand of the Father, the very presence of God, the very presence and gladness of the Most High, the joy of the Holy Spirit released, the strength of the Lord, that there would be a rejoicing, sounds of gladness and rejoicing in songs that are from the spirit of the sovereign Lord. Songs of the bride and the bridegroom would be heard in Jerusalem. Songs of the Father's deliverance would be heard in Jerusalem. We ask, Father, for the release of the glory. We ask, Father, for a release of the presence of the Most High in increased measure. In Jesus' name. Thank 
2 Thessalonians 3, 1 to 5. Father of glory, we stand before your throne. We are boldly through the name and blood of Jesus. God, asking that your word will run swiftly all across Israel and the nation, that your son will be glorified. Lord, you are faithful. We ask that you establish your son's kingdom in Jerusalem, in Israel. Guard the saints, especially watchmen for Israel from the evil one. Lord, direct our hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Father, we thank you for sending your son, Lord, to die as a lamb that cross and to be buried but out of the tomb he came risen resurrected king of glory ascended to heaven seated at your right hand and heaven is waiting for restoration of all things until Jerusalem cries out Baruchabashem Adonai blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord Lord we thank you for setting your son as king over Zion, over the temple, to be seated on the throne of David, Lord, to rule and reign as king forevermore. But Lord, as the enemy rages against him, raging against you, and raging against your intercessors for Israel, God, we ask that we would, you would strengthen and encourage, Lord, your intercessors for Israel with the word of the Lord even as Mordecai spoke to Esther do not think in your heart that you will escape the king's palace any more than all the other Jews for if you remain completely silent at the time relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place but you and your father's house will perish yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this Lord and as Esther fasted and prayed and she said if I perish I perish and thank you through her courageous fasting and praying going before the king her voice saved her nation and so we thank you Lord that you move at the sound of the watchman voice God we thank you for your move of the spirit globally five million joining us 21 day fast and then hundred million on the day of Pentecost. God, strengthen the watchman. Lord, strengthen us with perseverance and endurance overcoming as winds and waves arise, Haman's arising. Lord, Lord, great, greater birth pains ahead, but strengthen us to be like Esther, that we would not be silent, that we would go before the king on behalf of your people. So Father, in Jesus' name, let the watchman awake, arise, and stand on the wall for the sake of Zion at this hour in Jesus' name. go before the throne break of the their king. hearts for what breaks yours God crying for your people put your word in their mouths and their hearts that they would labor with you a little longer we labor in prayer until tarry with you see. a little longer break off fear and discouragement
Just be right. 
search me Oh, and know me, God See if there be any wicked way in me Give me the fear of the Lord Oh, yes, I want my life to be a pleasing sacrifice in your eyes Give me the fear of the Lord Search me and know me, God. See if there be any wicked way in me. Give me the fear of the Lord. I fear nothing but your name. I choose you this day. You will be praised. I fear nothing but your Count it all joy when I fall into trials, the testing of faith it produces patience. I count it all joy because you were. When 
he's approved for when he's approved oh he'll receive a crown sing this is i know this is joy oh, oh, oh. The 
Thank you. Praying for the third great awakening of the United States of America. Uh, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, and 15. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now, my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers made in this place. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And as this was a now word for Solomon, it is a now word for us that you are attentive to the prayers made in this place. We thank you for that, Father, that you hear our cry for our nation, Lord, for our nation is steeped in iniquity and sin. Sin runs rampant through this nation, Lord, in our inner cities, in our suburbs, all throughout the nation, in our little towns and villages, Lord. Father, we have millions, millions that are in the valley of decision that do not know their left hand from their right, that have no discernment. Father, we cry out for them, Lord God. We cry out for a mighty move of your hand in the United States of America. We cry out, Lord God, for a nationwide revival. Heavenly Father, what you've done for one, you'll do for another. Lord God, you gave us a first great awakening before the Revolutionary War. You gave us a second great awakening before the Civil War. Is there not a cause, Father, for a third great awakening in 
America today. Lord God, there's something on the horizon. What it is, when it is, we don't know, but you know. Father, we're calling you to awaken the slumbering bride. Lord God, that we would have fire and seal in our hearts, Lord. That we would love you as we should. Love you as you are worthy to love. With all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. To be undivided. To be solely after you. To prefer you over the ways of this world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Lord God, we're crying out for holiness and righteousness. Lord God, not just for us, but for our children and our grandchildren. Heavenly Father, we need holiness in this land. We need a move of your spirit. We need Jesus Christ lifted up that he may draw all men unto him. We cry out to you, Father. We cry out to you for signs and wonders and miracles. Not because we don't believe, but because we do believe. We believe that you can do these things, and you're willing to do these things. Father, we're crying out for your fire. We're crying out for your anointing. In our families, Lord, we want holiness. In our churches, we want holiness. In our nation, Father, we're crying out for holiness. Lord God, the scales are so far out of balance. Heavenly Father, we ask you as humbly as we can, please, Abba, Daddy, put your weight upon the scale. Bring things back to balance in America today, Lord. Father, Lord God, we need you. And it's not enough that we just cry out out of our need. For you are Almighty God, you are El Shaddai, God Almighty, and there's nothing that can stop you, nothing that can hinder you, nothing that can hold you back. We cry out to you as your children, and we're asking for bread, and we're asking for fish. Father, Lord God, we're asking for the Holy Spirit. We're asking you, Heavenly Father, to provide for our needs.
latter rain watering the earth. Father, we ask you for this nation and the church in this nation. We see so many ways of compromise that have encroached upon us, but even on our own hearts. And we see it so clearly in your word that there is judgment coming. Father, I ask you to release by the power of your spirit, the grace to perceive clearly our condition before you. I ask you for the power of the Holy Spirit that suddenly shows a heart it's standing with God. I ask that you would open eyes to the bankruptcy of our own morality, how we think we can cover the shame of our nakedness before you, without you. Father, I ask you in your mercy that you would move, that you would visit this unworthy nation and an obstinate people the great visitation of the Lord with your glory set on display and the cross of your son being magnified above every principality that has taken captive the hearts of men I ask you father that you would come with the outpouring of the spirit of repentance that it would break open like a dam on this nation and upon your church, that weeping and travail and mourning would break forth, hearts would cry out to be right with God. You would do this in your mercy and your kindness that leads us to repentance, your steadfast love, your forbearance and patience. You are the gracious and merciful God who delights in mercy. And surely you have given us so many times to turn. But Father, I ask you as your friend, you would give us more time. That you would help us to return to the one who's torn us. That you would help us to offer the repentance of the heart that you're looking for true turning from wickedness to righteousness, assisted by the grace of your Holy Spirit. So Father, we ask you, would you release repentance on the church in America, over this nation? Help us to return to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Will you return our hearts into repentance? of revelation Turn back to you God Turn back to your heart mercy we, grace to turn we back ask you to for mercy God. Lord how we need your mercy today. we need your help how we need your mercy we can't do today. it without you need to release it, Lord. release your mercy release your mercy release a move of mercy from the throne room Release your glory in America. Bring back repentance. Bring back repentance. Lord, bring repentance. Spirit of repentance. Release it. Turn their hearts back to you, Father. We're asking, and let it start with our hearts. Lord, let, let it, it start, start with us. Here with our hearts Even in, in this, this room. room, God. We need your help, Holy Spirit.
Burn again, burn again, burn again. 